in amongst the darkness, they came to show their love. Here in the city of Cambridge, they gathered to remember two bright young graduates who lost their lives. Among them, the girlfriend of Jack Merritt, comforted by his father, David. The 25-year-old had been working at the conference in London Bridge to better the lives of former prisoners. In a statement, his family said, Jack lived his principles. He believed in redemption and rehabilitation, not revenge, and he always took the side of the underdog. 23-year-old Saskia Jones was also stabbed to death. She had completed a degree in psychology and criminology and had been volunteering at the conference. She was literally the most genuine, kind and honest person I've ever met. Like, there's no one, there's no one that can match up to her. Saskia's family said she had a wonderful sense of mischievous fun and was generous to the point of always wanting to see the best in all people. In the City of London, they also remembered the victims of Friday's attack. The Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, alongside the Labour leader, Jeremy Corbyn, and the London Mayor, Sadiq Khan. The best way to defeat this hatred is not by turning on one another, but it's by focusing on the values that bind us. The attacker, Usman Khan, was shot dead by police on London Bridge. The courage of those who tackled him has been widely praised. There could have been further loss of life had it not been for the bravery of not only the police and the emergency services who intervened very, very quickly, but also those members of the public who took it upon themselves to place themselves in danger. As police continue their investigation into what happened here, many simply want to know why. Leila Hayes, 5 News.